I guess I'll wait for you to come. I know it's fate, temptation's tongue. We arrived in Nuaralia after more than three hour journey through curvy mountain roads until we reached a town about 1500 meters above sea level. We passed through beautiful tea fields in order to reach our initial destination, a town called Ella. However, once we got to Nuaralia, we loved it so much we decided to change our plans and stay until the following day. We've just got in to Nuaralia from Candy. The journey was pretty long and slow because it was super, super windy hills and uh, there was a lot of traffic as well. And right now we are going for a little walk. We're gonna try to go to a lake and then a park as well and see if we can get dinner in town. In this mountainous region of Sri Lanka is where they have all the tea factories. So tomorrow we're going to see if we can go see some and get a tour of a factory. The construction and style of the buildings that we've been seeing in this town are very British and I'm guessing it's because of <laughs> British influence because they were a British colony. We were immediately left amazed by the beautiful mountain town. At almost 2,000 meters, Nuaralia stands out as being one of the coolest areas in the country. The locals go around dressed as if it were winter, wearing jackets and beanies, and we, the tourists, were in short-sleeved shirts and dresses. <laughs> we walked through Victoria Park, a beautiful garden that is heavily influenced by British colonialism, and then we walked another half an hour to go to Gregory Lake. There was a fair with something I had never seen before, a human-powered ferris wheel. Right by the lake, it seemed like there was a party going on. There were a lot of high school-aged kids dancing around these buses with crazy lights. There was also another area with a lot of food stands where we got a snack and then left to find somewhere to grab dinner. Hello, good morning. Today we've come to Damboro Tea Factory. We would like to take a little tour of how they process and package the tea. And then I think they have another little lounge area where you can taste tea and then have some pastries as well. Machine. 
okay, 30. Yeah, it's 15 machine, separated machine, separate bigger particles and smaller particles. Okay. Actually, black tea we have different sizes. Different sizes give it different taste. Each day we produce each kind. Okay. Uh, today we produce powder tea. So if we need make powder tea, we use crushing machine and cutting machine both. If we need bigger particles of tea, we do not use cutting machine. We use only crushing machine. And the tea produce process, fermentation very important. Normally each we can put 250 kilos. Just 20 minutes. Get dry. Okay. Inlet temperature 125 Celsius. Special thing is we use only wood fire temperature. If we use gas or electricity, we can't get good aroma and taste. That's why only wood fire. We use only rubber wood. Actually, we first did in separate. We quickly rocked around the town once more, loaded up the tuk-tuk with our things, and we started driving towards Ella. We should have stayed another night in Nuwara, Elia. We got to Ella later than expected. As we arrived, we found it more touristy than we expected. It was the first time during our trip that we saw more Europeans than locals. That afternoon, we went to see the Nine Arc Bridge. in Ella not too long ago and we came to the Nine Arc Bridge which is okay it's just a bridge with arcs and the train passes <laughs> it's not that special it's just a train going over bridge. but um, the scenery is nice like the woods and there's a river down there and it's starting to rain a little bit so we're gonna try to head back up <laughs> it's a humongous bottle. It's 675 milliliters. The next day we got up and while we ate breakfast it started to rain hard and it didn't seem like it was going to stop. Seeing the day's weather forecast, we decided to pack up our things and leave Ella and go south in search of better weather. because it's raining and uh, a lot of thing, the things that you can do here are walking to waterfalls or hiking at, in the mountains and yeah we don't really want to walk around in the rain so we're going to try to go south to escape the rain because we know it's sunny by the beach. Mm -hmm. 